Have you ever had sushi and wondered about those tiny orange spheres that adorn various types of rolls? What exactly are they? Where do they come from? Is eating them an environmentally responsible thing to do? Let's talk about sushi. Those orange spheres are called masago, and are a trademark ingredient in not only Japanese cuisine, but many different food cultures worldwide. As the kitchen notes, masago is kaplan roe, which are eggs from the kaplan fish. Kaplan is a type of smelt, and they look similar to sardines. How Daly states that masago actually means sand in Japanese, which is a reference to the roe's diminutive size, only about one millimeter in diameter. Masago is characterized by its bright, vibrant orange hue, and it has a briny, salty note that can be slightly bitter and subtly fishy. It has a rather high sodium content, which is evident once you taste it. Of course, it is raw. It certainly contributes a slight crunch to whatever it is added to, but it doesn't have the trademark pop that caviar often delivers. There are different types, orange, black, red, and wasabi. Each has the same base ingredient, but the different variants include certain additions in order to subtly change the color or flavor of the masago itself. That brings us to color, and the fact that masago's trademark color is actually man-made. The tiny eggs are dyed to make them more aesthetically appealing. Isn't it strange that one of the trademark properties of masago is not actually inherent? In actuality, the natural color of masago is much more lackluster and ordinary, usually more of a pale yellow. In addition to myriad sushi rolls, it's also great with fish in any capacity, as well as with vegetables and all kinds of rice in different appetizers, meals, and side dishes. Masago often acts as a garnish, or is sometimes mixed with condiments or sides to act as dipping sauces. Of course, its trademark color also adds variety and brightness beyond just the flavor and textural components. While not always used with sushi, masago is almost always paired with other seafood. The Japanese bar states that many drink sochu, wine, sake, or beer with sushi, and therefore with masago. The briny, salty notes of masago tend to pair well with those libations. Do you like sushi? Hmm? Oh, sushi? Oh, I practically live off the stuff. You can purchase masago online at Asian markets and grocery stores or some supermarkets, but should you? Nutritionally, masago is very low in calories and offers omega-3 fatty acids, multiple vitamins, magnesium, and selenium. It's also especially high in vitamin B12, amino acids, protein, and much more. It's also low in mercury, but obviously very high in sodium, Healthline says. Most commercial masago is made with a number of additives, according to the Japanese bar. They say that soy sauce, MSG, high fructose corn syrup, and food coloring agents are all added in most instances. As noted, while these are less than ideal, unless you're eating copious amounts of sushi or masago, there is really no cause for concern. Of course, if you do have a sensitivity to sodium, it may be wise to steer clear. But masago and capelin fishing is a contested topic from a sustainability perspective. While it's noted that capelin is relatively sustainable and the population is quite high worldwide, there are also concerns about overproduction due to the fact that more female fish are more heavily fished in order to meet the need for masago. According to Healthline, that has affected the gender disparity breakdown of the fish species over time. Furthermore, capelin are susceptible to overfishing, according to the Japanese bar, and changes in population and location from season to season can affect fishing and harvesting as well as additional environmental changes. However, there are certain companies or fisheries that are intent on sustainable fishing, such as the IRF, or Iceland Responsible Fisheries. They make it a point to keep sustainability at the forefront of their practices and we hope more fisheries worldwide follow in their footsteps. The long-term environmental concerns are certainly something to mull over the next time you indulge in sushi. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more mashed videos about your favorite dishes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.